So if you don't already know, I am a huge, huge fan of Elder Scrolls. I tried Skyrim a while back, and it's definitely one of my most favorite games of all time. And it really got me into role-playing games and just Bethesda in general. Fallout, I'm not as big of a fan of. I still like the Fallout franchise, don't get me wrong. I just don't hold it up as high as Elder Scrolls. Well, finally, we might be getting a sequel to Skyrim. I'm not talking about Elder Scrolls Online, or I'm not talking about the card games. We might be getting a new full sequel to Skyrim soon, or Fallout 4. We don't really know right now. So Pete Hines, who is the vice president of Bethesda, was speaking about this new project they have in development. Here's a clip of what he had to say. We have Skyrim Switch, we've got Wolfenstein 2 and Evil Within 2, and uh, Quake Champions free to play, and Elder Scrolls Legends free to play, and Elder Scrolls Online, and Dishonored. Like we have a ton of stuff going on, uh, and we even have a game coming out this year that we haven't even told anybody about yet. So they can wait. Uh, it won't, it won't be so long. I'm not telling. Is, is it a new new IP? I'm not telling you. How are we get out it's of a good try. It's a good try. I'm just not telling. All right. When Tech Syndicate was requesting more information about this topic, as you can see, Heinz wouldn't budge. So let me discuss what I think this is. Honestly, I know eventually a sequel to Skyrim and Fallout 4 will come out. I know that. Fallout 4 hasn't been out that long, so I doubt this project is actually something like a Fallout 5. But actually, there is more light for this project being a Skyrim sequel. Skyrim was released in 2011. That was almost six years ago. So I do think that soon Skyrim will be due for a sequel. It might even be due now, but I don't think it's time for that yet. Now, keep this in mind. The estimated time it took for Skyrim to be made was four years. So Bethesda's new project, and if it is much bigger than Skyrim, that new project would take probably half a decade or more to get that game to come out. So if Bethesda is working on a Skyrim sequel as their unrevealed project, as Hein put it, I would understand if they took them a really, really long time to make the game. But I just have this feeling that it's just going to be a new IP. And honestly, I would love that. Of course, it depends on what type of game it is. Bethesda has two main RPG franchises. I know they have plenty of other games out there, but Elder Scrolls and Fallout are one of their main series. If Bethesda could make a third addition to that, that would be great, because Skyrim is the medieval series. Fallout is the more dystopian modern series. You could count it as the future, but it's more of a dystopian future rather than normal future, but I'll just count it as modern. What I would like to see would be two different things if this is a brand new IP. As long as one of these happens out of a new IP, that will be fine. Unless they show something that I didn't ever think I would want, but I do actually want it. The first series I would like to see would be a more futuristic game series. I mean an actual future one where everything has mind-blowing technology, and it's all great, not as much dystopia as Fallout, but it's a fleshed out, very futuristic game. The other I would like would be a straight up 1920s-ish themed RPG game. That would also be very fun to play, of course as I envision it. Now if there is actually a Bethesda game with any of those categories, then I'm sorry and I'll check it out once I find it and play it for myself. But I have to see what this new game and development is. If it's another Skyrim cash or something like a Fallout card game, I will have lost all hope for Bethesda. So I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please share it on social media. It really does help. Please leave your thoughts on this in the comments below. And see you.